My name is Dan. Uh, for those who don't know me, uh, I've been here for quite a while at the university. Uh, I've been um, in London for about seven years now. Um, I wanted to give you a bit of my personal background, just so you know who I am and where I come from. So I'm Serbian. I was born in Yugoslavia in the 80s. And when I was five years old, um, my country uh, split up. Um, Yugoslavia split into six small, powerless nations. Um, this, there was no referendum. There was a brutal war. There was a huge uh, economic uh, collapse. And this meant that me and my family had to move from Yugoslavia. Um, we were lucky that my dad got a job in Moscow, in Russia, and that's where I lived for the next 10 years. Now something a bit more positive about me. My dad is an architect, my mom is in the arts, my granddad was an architect, my great granddad was a maker, engineer. So I was really, I have it in my blood uh, to be creative. And this is a video screenshot from about 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago of me doing a presentation of my inventions and innovations. <laughs> I have sketches, cardboard models, wooden models, Lego, everything, you know. Uh, I was really a maker back then, before the word maker existed. And this really inspired me to go on and become a product designer. Now, I always found it quite difficult to just explain to people what product design is. It's not really art, it's not really architecture, it's linked with engineering, but then I found a term that kind of really explained it well, and I called it creative problem solving. I went on to study product design in Italy, because when I finished school, Serbia was still not really the best country to um, live and work in, so I went to Italy, then I came to do a master's at the Royal College of Art here, um, and was really always struggling with visas and bureaucracy for like, all of my studies. And I somehow managed to stay after graduation here and uh, establish my own country, uh, my own uh, company. <laughs> <laughs> this is all very prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, established my company, Kid Design. And Kid Design makes games and toys that teach children about design and uh, to be creative. And we've developed a process that takes children from idea generation to sketching, um, CAD modeling, and, uh, and eventually 3D printing. And through this, this process, it means that children are engaged in the technology, in the creative process. Um, it's a collaborative process. They work together um, to, to create. And most importantly, they learn through making. Um, they learn by creating, by becoming made. The first project I created, the first product, is called Kidaville. It's a sustainable city design project for schools. The objective is that the children work together to design a city where every student has their own mission, their own project to work on, and to build their own, um, to create their own buildings, their own architecture. So they all get different missions. Somebody's designing a school, somebody's making a recycling center, uh, a museum, a, um, a port, everything the city needs. And why, why cities, do you think? Well, we all enjoy creating worlds. We all enjoy um, uh, coming up with ideas of this, what this world, the city would look like. And it's very gender neutral, it's very international, and everyone can find their own passion within creating a world, right? It's, it's, it's impossible to think that um, there isn't anything that inspires you about creating a city in the world. But there are things, certain things in this project, which is we don't have any fossil fuels, any jails, we don't have any religious buildings. We really want to inspire children to imagine a world with no pollution, with no crime, with no countries, with no religion too. And that vision <coughs> is really profound and I 
whenever I talked about this project, I really never emphasized that, but I really think it's important. It's about what we inspire the young generations to, to envision and to think about. The, the mission statement that we always use was inspiring the next generation of creative problems. I realized that there's something wrong with this term, problem solvers. And I think we as designers and as makers we really have to stop solving problems. We need to be creating visions. So our mission is to inspire children and young people to create positive visions for the future. And you may say I'm a dreamer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> and I hope one day you'll join us. <laughs> and the world will live as one. <laughs>